good practice. Got some things done, ready to play again. It's like a second season opener. That gum been forever. But uh, got healed up. Hopefully we dotted some I's, crossed some T's, and we we'll out and have an efficient, uh, very efficient performance, hopefully. Liked what we've done, though. Questions? With Ruben Carter, or, yeah, with Ruben Carter possibly step in for Trey, are you confident with him? Extremely him? confident. I thought he's had a really good week of practice. Done some really nice things. Thought he played well in the game the other day. Feel very comfortable with Ruben. Given, I mean, obviously you'd love to have all of your line mm -hmm. healthy, but it's an opportunity to see how some of those guys further down the depth chart are hold up. There's no doubt. Like and and it's, it's a great opportunity. And like you say, you never know when that number's called. When your opportunity is called, Ruben did it the other day, and he did it, and he's practiced well, and he's performed well. Uh, you know, you want to keep them all. And I think some of those guys, I think Trey, if he had to play, could play. I mean, emergency, I, I really do. I think he's hobbled, but he's healing very quickly. I hope we'll get Austin Barron back here very quickly, I'm thinking, next week or so. But uh, and those guys got an opportunity. It, it's, it's really nice to see them step up and play well. And there were some reports, I guess, yesterday evening about Cameron with an injury. He's fine. He got banged in the back, and they just want to get a CAT scan just to make sure we got a shot and just make sure everything was all right. He went in the hospital, got it. He's fine. He practiced all day and never missed a rep. He was good. Where is Austin in his recovery? Right right on the verge of coming back. He's right at the edge of it. I mean, uh, I, I think he'll be back in practice on Monday. I really do. That's what we're to, planning on. Back to Ruben. What kind of confidence does it give a guy when they get out there for the first time? And uh, there's nothing like being able to do it and realize you can do it. I mean, saying I can do it, preparing I can do it, but until you go out there in the game and actually do it. You know what I'm saying? And then you go, you know, I am. Because you always, it's not doubt. It's that nervous energy, whatever it is you do when you do something for the first time. And it's very rewarding to see a lot of your hard work's paid off, and I've been very proud of it. Rewarding as a coach, too. I mean, I, you knew coming into the season, somebody that hadn't played a lot was going to have to. Exactly right. You, and going to have to jump in there and, and make plays. And uh, he's did it. And that's just reassuring that the confidence in what we were seeing in spring ball and through the summer that we, and through camp, is, it's reassuring that what we were seeing is true. Pretty, probably pretty hot out of kickoff. You got, you got enough of those hot practices in this past week? Or oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, we, we, that's why we stayed out today. We, we were out every day this week. And, of course, you know, practicing it, I went on the field at 3.30, exactly the same time we'll be playing. So it was a very good preparation for what we are going to go through. It'll be a test with that defense and that heat. Oh, there's no there. doubt. All the reps and all the things. We have to have a lot of guys ready, and then we have to make sure they get their rest. Uh, Wilder and PJ Asin will be yes, good to go. Yes, they're ready to roll. You've talked about um, you know maybe ha having to wait to sub for next series the way that they run their no huddle. How important does that make third down for you guys defensively? Oh, it's cool. The field? And that was no huddle team. That, that, that's the down. I mean, if you give them a third down and get off the field, then you can win some battles because maybe you can keep them over there. And it's hard for those no huddle teams to get a rhythm. The third down is going to be very critical in any ball game, and it'll be very critical, especially this week.